All right, so we have everything ready here, I believe, except for one thing, I wanna fix this fairing. Okay, call that good. We are going to be taking a different orbital approach this time, however, and let's take a look. I'm just trying to figure out what our angle, I don't know. It's gonna be a little bit rough here. So we're gonna to try to get to 250, I believe, is the the golden uh, altitude for this. I'm a little bit worried about losing contact with uh, the space center. This is not manned in any way, so we're gonna to have to make do with what we've got here, and let's do it. So as before, once we get up to a reasonable clip here, we'll throttle back, let this. Uh, Solid rocket booster get us up through the worst part of the atmosphere here. Pick up some decent speed. I don't know what the terminal velocity is at any particular place. Uh, we need a little more speed than that. We need the gimbling here. So we are going to be tilting to the north. Oh dear god, I didn't turn on the SAS. That's the problem. I kind of wish SAS was just on by default on the launch pad if you have it. Now it does take more energy to do this orbit that we're attempting to do here, to be sure. I'm kind of focusing right now, just trying to make sure we nothing bad happens. Okay, let's get up to full thrust here. Get our solid fuel going, and those things seem to have like a self-destruct on them or something. I don't know. They're crazy. Alright, so I want to get tipping towards the north, not go too crazy with this, but get a little bit of our our tip going here. Because what's our inclination right now? Yeah, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. I'm going to take another fairly inefficient high orbit approach here. Meaning we're going to go kind of straighter up to maintain our contact with everything. It's always hard to get these unmanned things going. It's like chicken or the egg kind of problem. Like, you can't get any satellites there because you don't have any coverage, and you can't get any coverage because you don't have any satellites. And I'd rather not use manned ships to do this sort of stuff just because uh, it's not really necessary. It saves me a lot of trouble. Now, we are pretty far off of our 90 degree inclination so I'm gonna start burning pretty hard towards the horizon here because we don't have a lot of orbital velocity right now getting our altitude is getting up there but we need we need orbital velocity at this point point. and this satellite doesn't have any other satellites it needs to be concerned about with its orbit it just needs to be at about 250,000 meters I believe for the satellite for the uh, scansat part to work at its optimal efficiency and we'll be stopping our burn here in a moment to stage we're in space I, I fixed my fairing situation you just have to remember to always click and tell it that you want those fairings to uh, clamshell and life goes a lot better although that one kind of stuck. Would you get off of my ship, please? Don't want to be carrying you with us. Should have had a little more ejection force, I suppose. And let's get our fancy-dancy antennas and solar panels and stuff going. I like that you can't uh, retract these solar panels anymore. You can still retract the other kind, but not these ones. Alright, so what is our angle, all of our angling looking like? I think we're going to make it, who knows about burning at the apoaps, because we're going to be kind of at a high inclination when we're at that point, so I don't know. Lord only knows if we're going to be crashing this thing or not. In fact, I should probably just burn even maybe slightly below the horizon just to 
get our speed up because if we can get that out of the atmosphere well we're not going to quite do it I was going to say we could get that out of the atmosphere then we won't have so much of an issue I could have gone into a higher orbit and then settled into a lower one I guess alright so circularize at the next seven minutes away that looks like it'll still be in easy satellite range I think so let's cross our fingers say a little prayer I hope I put enough batteries on this thing I don't think this antenna really takes all that much um, power it's at like point one or something so shouldn't be that bad we still have communication we're coming up on our burn life is good and this will act as another relay satellite also which means that our network is getting better and better and we should have fewer and fewer issues with unmanned uh, vehicles in fact if we time our launch for the mission we have a mission for a polar satellite uh, if I put all the right parts on a satellite and launch it if we launch underneath this one then we'll be guaranteed to be able to do that mission easily as well alright so does this thing tell me let's turn on the SAS so it doesn't wiggle around start the scan ideal altitude excellent and the analyze data thing is something that we can't really do anything with right now let's go ahead and decouple that to fire this just to give myself a little nudge away do we not have the engine activated there we go just to get clear what the hell Let's flip around and uh, stay at our 250. There we go. So scan away, my friend. It's a pretty cool looking satellite, actually. It's kind of squatty and everything. Let's uh, orient better for our solar panels here. How is the power situation? The power situation, it's using a decent amount of power. So there's a chance that we'll have blackouts from time to time. I'm going to deactivate that antenna just because it's not necessary anymore. Uh, we have the big boy deployed. Alright, so where is my... Let's close down some of this extra stuff for now. ScanSat map. Is that ScanSat? That scans, that's planetary logistics. Um, is that... It'd be nice if there were tooltips telling me which one is which. This is colonization. That's related to that. I don't know. I wonder if the mapping is not working right in... Uh... I think there's a good chance. Oh, is this it? Yeah, there we go. What is that other satellite? I have no idea. Alright, so it looks like we have begun mapping. I don't remember. Big map. I don't remember all the controls here, so... I like that it shows our orbital path. I think the yeah the blue one is the one that we're on right. No yeah the blue one's the one that we're on. So there's the ground that we've gone over. We only have terrain type right now, so we can do these. I don't think we can do biome because we just don't have any data for that. Yeah no biome. Do we have slope? I don't think this thing can do like radar and altimeter or anything. I think no it does. Okay. And okay, so we have all the the various map projections we can do there. What is this stuff? This has been updated since I've played. This is export map. We could save a map. That's kind of neat. Toggle grid, toggle legend. What is the legend? Oh, that's just show. I don't want the legend on. It shows me the scale for this map. Toggle resources. I don't know if we need a different scanner. What is that? We may need a different scanner for resources, so we'll just leave that off for now. But I'm just going to leave this satellite to do its thing. It looks like... What is our inclination? It looks like we're kind of missing part of the uh, the pole there, which is going to... It's not really very important, but it's going to annoy me if that's the case. We might want to correct that. We're at 85 degrees. We should be a little bit closer more like you know we don't want to be exactly 90 necessarily but I want to get a little bit closer before we mess around with that anymore though let's get rid of this and 
the satellite is well clear. Um, why did we lose connection? Did both of these lose connection? Shouldn't you be relaying? That may be that stupid glitch that happens sometimes when you switch between vessels because it seems like that should be real. Let's reactivate the shorter range omnidirectional antenna and see if that helps. Oh, it ran out of power, I bet. So that thing's going to be just up there. Well, have to classify that one as debris and forget about it. So anyway, back to this. Let's go ahead and get our maneuver planner up and change inclination to be, let's say 90 degrees is ideal at the, I don't know if it matters if it's the ascending or the descending node. That's 143 meters versus it's the same either way. That burn is in seven minutes, though. I think that's the next one up. So let's go ahead and execute that. Have fun tumbling forever. Oh, it stopped tumbling because of the warp. I should remember to slap one of those fixed solar panels on those things so that doesn't happen anymore. And I'm just curious. Analyze data. See, I don't think we can actually get much data until it manages to scan everything is, is how it works. I don't even know if there's much available from Kerbin or not, but whatever. That should give us what in the name? Oh, this is our, our scan. Oh, I didn't know it had a, a cone that actually shows me the scan range. That's cool. That is very cool. Alrighty. So that's going to end it for here. I'm going to just let this thing do its scan. And when we come back, hopefully we'll... Ha I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I might take a look at some of the missions we have and stuff and try to figure something out. But thanks for watching. Catch you next time.